Hello everybody, this is the Kosher Experience with Benny Seren. Today I'm going to prepare a ceviche from Peru, the way that I was taught by a Peruvian woman. The ingredients are, here are the ingredients, if you can read them, very good, okay? If not, I will repeat them and I will put them on the side. So, to begin with, we need lime. Here is the lime. Okay, this is ten, the juice of ten limes. Then we need onion, red onion. This is the, the product, the product, the final product of ten onion, cut in julienne. Okay, this is the peppers. I used baby pepper. Okay, and in Peru we like to eat uh, spicy things, hot things, so I used a hot pepper okay be careful don't confuse them some people doesn't like hot some people likes hot so you choose and this is the final result of what I did with the peppers okay also we will need four uh, tilapia filet cut in like this easy right not so difficult Here I have in this plate in this uh, in this cup I have garlic and ground ginger both ground okay garlic here is the garlic and here is the ginger I peel the ginger and I peel the, the, the garlic and I mince them I I I green them and also a bunch full of uh, a handful of uh, cilantro chopped chopped only once because if you do it twice you kill the cilantro so it is very easy what I'm gonna do is bring a pot from here a bowl to mix the things a bowl I put the fish inside the bowl easy right not so difficult anybody can do that I put the lime lime juice remember lime juice not lemon juice lime juice and it has to look like this look, look everybody like this, nice, right? With your bare hand, or with a spoon, or with a whatever you want, you mix them a little bit, so all the ju all the pieces of fish will be inside the inside the lime. When this is done like this, you let you let it sit for for a little bit. And you can start putting the ginger, so it gives the flavor, okay? And some of the garlic. I usually don't put garlic, I don't like it very much in the ceviche, but I will do it today to try what, how, how it comes out. This is, sorry that you cannot be here, <laughs> but this is smelling very good. It's fishy, but it smells very good. Now with the lime and all these ingredients that I have, oh, it's amazing. Remember, ceviche has to be fresh. The fish has to be really, really fresh. If not, that's it. You, will, you won't be able to eat it because the, 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 the taste will be very strong. This was taken out from the, from the freezer and even before it was defrost, I, I, I start cutting it, you know, so it will be really, really fresh. Now I, pre I will bring the, the salt. bring the salt and I bring the the this machine here whatever it's called okay the blender I'm gonna connect it I'm gonna put it here you will see why why I'm using the, the blender okay you will see right in a few minutes you will see try not to bring a fruit blender Try to use a vegetable blender or a soup blender so the flavor of, of the onion and all the ingredients won't stick to it. So at this point you will see that the fish is getting a little bit white. That means that it's being cooked, that it's starting to cook. The lime is starting to cook the fish. 
Okay. The origins of the, of, the, of the ceviche, apart from the fishermen, that they had only lime in the boat and, uh, and the salt from the sea, from the seawater, and the fish came as salty because of that, so they would marinate the, 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 the fish on the, on, with that lime and they would eat it like that. Okay? There are some other uh, th uh, theories and some other stories that I've heard that it comes from the Incas. The Incas are the Indians, the native uh, Peruvian people. They are not still alive, unfortunately, but the, their heritage continued. Okay? So at this point, I can think on putting a little bit of salt, because the salt will help to cook faster, to cook the, the fish faster, and will start giving a flavor to, to, the, to, the, to the thing, to the mixture. Now, the blender, I will use it to blend a little bit of onion, okay, a little bit of the peppers in it, a little bit more, some of the cilantro. This will give a, a, a thickness to the to the to the preparation. And you can let go a, a piece of, of fish. It will give an, uh, an extra extra flavor. You can just put a piece of fish in that mixture, that will, that's fine. You know? Here is something left, well, not much, but I'm going to put whatever is left there, of the garlic and the, uh, and the ginger. <coughs> now I will close it, and you will hear the... If we want to give a little bit more of color to it, we just put some more red pepper and some more onion on it, in it, and we just let it blend a little bit more. And that will give a little bit more of color to the pepper. And this is the mixture. You will see it's a little bit thicker. You will see while I'm pouring it, you will see that it's thicker. All right. When I've done this, I take this apart out of here. Okay. And I mix again. I keep mixing so all the flavor will be mixed. At this point, I can start thinking. You will see that is a little bit more uh, cooked, more white. At this point I can start thinking on putting all the rest of the ingredients. Okay? I can put some onion on it, so it will, the onion will give the, some flavor. And uh, the onion will receive some flavor of the, of, the oil, of, the, uh, of the lime. Some people think that you have to cook the ceviche first, the fish first, before. No, you don't have to cook the, the fish first before putting it oh, inside the, the, with the lime. It's terrible. It will taste terrible. It won't have the same taste, the, the same texture, nothing. Okay? There is other varieties of ceviche. They have ceviche in Mexico, which is with tomato, everything very, very chopped. There is ceviche from Chile, from Chile, and uh, from Ecuador, Ecuador, from Bolivia. But the real ceviche is from, Mex from Peru. But remember that the Incas went out of Peru to other places, okay? And that's why they have those, those uh, heritage from Peru, the ceviche, in those countries that are not Peru, okay? So now I will bring a spoon from under my counter, and I will try a piece, okay? 
remember, we have to say the bracha. But first I will say Adama because I have onion. Baruch atah Adonai, lo namor namboreh peri Adama. Ooh, I took a, a hot one. Anyways, I like it. And now for the um, fish. Baruch atah Adonai, lo namor nam shakol niyabit baro. Mmm. Needs more, a little bit more of salt. Some people put amount, tons of amount of salt. I will put a little bit. You can try. Today, unfortunately, I don't have pepper. I like to put the black pepper a little bit, but I don't have. It's okay. You can put some black pepper if you want. If you don't want, it's also okay. I will put uh, the peppers, the color peppers. This will give some beautiful colors. And also with the hot pepper that I have in here, which is this one over here. If you see, this one is the different than uh, this one. Okay, no, different, different. This is more like with waves. This is flat. Okay. So this one is the hot. That would give an extra super flavor to the to the preparation. Okay, and this ceviche is already ready to put the whole onions and the cilantro. Okay, so <clears throat> I will serve this plate, this 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 ceviche in a plate, on a plate, so you can try it. This is very basic. In Peru, they serve it with a sweet potato, which is orange. Okay, it's called batata. Okay, or camote, camote, and uh, with corn. In Peru, the corns are like this big, like a teeth, but it's delicious. And under it, a piece of lettuce. But here, I'm gonna do it simple for you, and you can, from here, the sky is the limit, you do whatever you want, okay? So, here it is. A nice ceviche, okay, really, really nice ceviche. You would be asking, how do I know? Who, how do this bearded guy knows about ceviche? Well, my mom is from Peru. She comes from uh, other, from European descendants. Her father was from Poland and her mother from Romania, but she was born in Peru. And uh, and I learned my 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 aunt still lives there. I have a sister who lives there. Doesn't matter. But that's how I know about ceviche and Peruvian food. Remember, everything you need is kosher food. If you're going to prepare something that I tell you, I, I, I would like you to, to do it with kosher food, with kosher products, you know. So go to your kosher grocery, buy them, support uh, Jewish grocery, and uh, enjoy. Here's the plate. Here, I will bring it closer. You see? Ceviche. Thank you very much, and see you in the next chapter. Bye.